really common posture problem is forward shoulders. And a lot of us don't even know when we're doing it. So a quick check that you can do to make sure your shoulders aren't migrating forward is to actually look at your hands. Now, if your shoulders are rolled forward, your knuckles are gonna be facing forward. Now, if your shoulders are rolled back, your hands naturally are gonna to wanna to open forwards. So ideally, you want your palms facing forward, but even just starting with your thumbs facing forward is gonna be great progress. Another thing we wanna think about when thinking about the position of the shoulders is the shoulder blades and how they lay against your rib cage. Now, when your shoulders are back, your shoulder blades are gonna be flush with your rib cage. They're gonna be close to the spine and they're not gonna be you know, sticking out. It's very common to see winged shoulder blades where the bottom kind of pops out a little bit. And that's an indicator that your shoulders are migrating forward. So think about your palms forward and your shoulder blades close to the spine and flush with the body. Now, a very common mistake that people make when pulling their shoulders back is they puff their chest out. So be careful that you're not contorting your back in order to get your shoulders back. So you want your spine to be nice and long and it's just a movement of the shoulders. Now, because we spend so much time with our shoulders forward, really everything we do is involving rolling the shoulders forward. And so the more time we spend in those positions, the more the body wants to stick in those positions. So don't be frustrated if you put your shoulders back and relax and then they roll forward again. You just keep putting them back where they belong and relax. Don't pinch them back, don't hold them back. Eventually, with the stretches and exercises that we're doing, they're naturally going to stay. But just being aware of your positioning and thinking about those two things, palms forward and shoulder blades flat, are gonna start to make a difference right away. We're gonna think about the rib cage and those bottom ribs because really one of the very common misconceptions about good posture is that it involves sticking out the chest and kind of boinging out the bottom of the rib cage. And so you can see right away the effect that it's having on my lower back. The key to healthy posture is to minimize those dramatic curves in the back. And so if I use my upper abs to pull my rib cage back into place so that it's vertically aligned and even possibly tilting forward a tiny bit, you can see that right away it's going to lengthen out my lower back and give a little bit of relief to those discs between the vertebrae that are being crunched when I have my ribs out and also my hips forward. So pulling that into alignment. Now, the problem is, is that when we think about pulling our shoulders back, those ribs automatically want to pop out because of the fact that all of this area is not very flexible in most people because it's been tight and compressed for so long. So instead of boinging out those lower ribs, really think about stretching the chest. And if you can't achieve the position that you want without boinging out those lower ribs, then it's an indicator that you should keep on stretching. And all of the stretches that we've been doing for the chest and shoulders in this video are really gonna help you be able to migrate those shoulders backwards without putting the unnecessary strain on your lower back. For this next stretch, we'll need a doorway. So you're gonna put your hands in goal post position in the doorway, and you're gonna step forward into a nice lunge forward, opening the chest in the doorway, just leaning forward and breathing. <sighs> Be careful not to let those lower ribs boing out. Don't arch the back, keep the spine nice and long. The stretch should really only be in your chest. If your chest is really tight, your body definitely wants to cheat and flare out those ribs. So keep the spine long and straight. Don't let it arch. After you've gotten a good stretch here, you're going to move your arms up a little bit and do it again. Lean forward. You'll notice the stretch in a slightly different place. You might find that one position is a lot tighter than the other. 
If so, breathe a little extra into that position. <sighs> Good. And I'm gonna come out of it, show you the third position, which is with the elbows down. And again, just leaning forward, opening the shoulders, opening the chest, and don't forget to breathe. <sighs> this is a really good one if you're spending all day in front of the computer and you just need a quick break to reset and stretch out your body. This one's really quick and easy and very effective. This stretch is really good for opening up the forearms and the shoulders. So you're going to face the wall, put your palm up against the wall, push it into the wall, and notice how the top of my palm is totally flat. So I could balance a uh, teacup right on the top of my wrist if I wanted to. I'm really pushing it into the wall. Now, you might find that this itself is a big challenge if your wrists are really, really tight. Um, if you want a little more of a challenge, you can pull your fingers out one by one. Really breathing into it. It's hard to get that finger off of there. There we go. And now, to um, bring the stretch into the whole arm, I'm gonna slowly just turn away from the wall. Maybe this is all the stretch that you need. I'm gonna also look away from my palm, and it brings the stretch up my whole arm and into my neck. And I'm gonna breathe into that. And shake it out. We'll do it on the other side real quick. Once again, pushing my palm into the wall and I might get more of a stretch by pulling one finger at a time out. But if that's too intense, you can skip it, work up to it. Some people have a hard time just achieving this position and so they'll start off kind of with their palm out away from the wall and that's okay. You're just working towards this position. The more you type, the tighter all of this is. And really, unlocking the hands and the forearm are the key to unlocking the shoulders and the chest in a lot of cases. So don't, don't skip this one. Get that last finger. And again, I'm gonna turn away from my hand. And I'm even gonna turn a little bit more this way and look over my opposite shoulder, getting a nice big stretch all through my arm and up through my neck. <sighs> a couple breaths. <sighs> and shake it out. The first exercise we're gonna do is called the reach up, reach back. And so I'm going to cross my arms in front of me and I'm going to hook the thumbs. And my thumbs are hooked because I'm actually using my back to pull my arms apart. So if my thumbs weren't hooked, they would just pop backwards. So I'm hooking the thumbs, pulling my arms apart, raising my arms above my head as far as I can, getting a nice stretch. And then I'm going to turn my palms towards each other. Now, leaving the palms facing up, that's really important, I'm going to slowly bring the arms down. Now, I'm not just bringing them down exactly at my sides, I'm pulling them back, engaging the muscles of the upper back as I go, and getting a nice stretch through the shoulders. Let's do 20 of those. This is a great exercise because it lubricates the shoulder joints, it opens the chest, and it strengthens the back. Be sure to take a big deep breath in as you lift and exhale and release as you drop. Be sure you're not arching your back. Keep your neck relaxed.
You might want to try alternating which thumb you put on top as you're lifting. And don't skimp on the upper back workout. Really pull your arms open as you're releasing down. This is such a great exercise. If you could do 20 a day, you would really see a difference in your shoulder range of motion, the openness of your chest, and the strength in your upper back. So now we're going to do a few exercises that are designed to strengthen the upper back. That'll help migrate those shoulders backwards. So lie down on your belly. All right, on your stomach, with your arms in a W or a chicken wing position, you're just going to lift your shoulders and arms off the ground. You're not going into a full cobra or a superman. You're just lifting, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then relaxing. You're putting all your strength into really pulling your shoulder blades together. Pull, pull, pull. Get those shoulders back and open, and then relax. Back into a child's pose. Stretch your arms forward. Drop your armpits towards the ground. Just relax. Relax. 